course in the Borum, uh, married Abra. Um, been with Egan Glassy for two, two, three years now. Originally from the Hunter, uh, the Hastings Valley area from Combine. It's been there since 2004. So I've been quite active with them, plus more active with this brigade. I um, escort wide loads. So any bigger machinery or concrete beams or even the wind turbine blades, I'm either front or behind those, making sure that we're getting safely to the spot we've got to. I originally worked at Caltex service station. Before that, I worked on dairy farm. Um, then before that one, I was also in the meatworks in the scone. The original reason why I actually joined the RFS was my old captain, who was actually a bus driver when I was in high school. Kept asking the questions about it, what was it like, because my parents wouldn't sign the form at the time, until I was 18. So I just waited till I was 18 to sign it myself and join, just to help my home community. Just get out there, help people that needed the help at the time. I love going four-wheel driving. Um, plus I'm into like motorbikes, not so much. Sort of into dirt bikes, but because her husband has his own motorbike too, um, more so into the road stuff. I'm actually more so looking into going to the aviation side of the RFS. Um, love mapping, so eventually want to go and help with the aviation side for mapping and all that. More so looking at going on the airbase, um, being on the front line sort of stuff still. Um, but just love, love helicopters, love heights. So I want to get up there above it, look down on it, see how it's moving, where it's going to go, like predict where we can put the firefighters in. No, no ambition to make a career of it. No, just like helping the community. Don't want to be paid for it. Just want to sit here and do what I can, when I can. Being a female on some aspects, there's a lot more challenges. I think females, they're starting to come up in their ranks and starting to be a lot more females in the RFS. It's more so evening out between the males and females. So you've, you've got basically the same amount of females to males. So it's more even. Yeah, it is balancing out in a lot of things. I've seen a lot of guys catering. Um, a lot of the males going into like, comms, um, into fire controls, and then also a lot of females like, coming out on the fire ground doing a range of stuff where it's just being an actual firefighter or being a captain, deputy captain, whatever role they get, there's a great show of females now in it. My kids, to be honest. They're pushing me, like, I teach them everything about the fires, what they do if there's a fire in the house, everything. So it's not only my skills that I've learnt through being in the RFS, it's also the skills I'm teaching my children. And now my daughter actually wants to join when she's old enough. Knowing that I'm helping the community in a, in a certain way, where it's with a community engagement, teaching people how to be fire safe, um, whether it's helping at a fire ground or at an incident, helping a little kid, some people, whatever it would be. Just knowing that I'm there helping them in any way possible. I'd say to them, get in contact with Captain and come up, see what we do at training, see how we go about it, see what it involves. And then go from there. If you feel, yep, good, let's go. Get the forms to join, or if not, no, nah, I think that's a bit too hard for me, sort of thing. Oh, another clue, really. Mainly skills and
friendly, happy. 